When the tour last started in Germany, a wall divided the city of Berlin, host of the Grand Depart. Built in 1961 by East Germany as a physical sign of separation, the wall became the most enduring symbol of the Cold War. In 1987, exactly 30 years ago, the Tour de France began with the wall as its backdrop. At the time, there was a dream. The dream of including East Berlin in Le Tour. That dream was dashed by the East Germans. But in cycling, the walls began to crumble that year. As the Tour left the divided city of Berlin, the first ever Eastern Bloc rider wore the yellow jersey. Lech Piasecki of Poland. It was a powerful symbol of a changing world. Two years later, in 1989, the wall came down. Some wonder if the tour's visit helped nudge towards that end. Today we're in Dusseldorf, the fashion capital of Germany. A city completely destroyed in World War II with only a handful of buildings surviving. Today it's a thoroughly modern and cosmopolitan city risen from the ashes. As 198 riders roll down the starting ramp today, the unified fans at the side of the road no longer wonder if their heroes are from the East or the West.